Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. So in this tutorial I decided that I, I'm going to teach you about this before I I, I go on further because uh, you guys might kind of be confused a bit uh, of one aspect of the map class. So let's create a map quickly and let's just make this a uh, string and so on. Now if you wanted to call the insert and you call that and you put in a string value and you get put one you get an error now with the visual studio and stuff like that uh uh this gives you this weird this long error or whatever and you it might confuse you right uh but what you need to do is whenever you call the insert class what you need to do is to call either one of these two pair std pair and then you put in the first thing and then the second thing I believe that's right no for the sorry for the pair you would have to put the type first the two types and then you have to put the values within the pair so you have to put uh, say test one so on and so forth right but there's another thing that you can use as well and this is the one that I would recommend to use. It just makes life easier. So you do make pair. And once you do make pair, all you have to do is just put in the values in there like so. And uh, that will make it easier. The difference between make pair and pair is for pair, you have to specify uh, the value types before you actually put it in. Or that's the only way it works for me. Um, that's how it works. But for make pair, uh, it, you don't really have to do that, right? When you put make pair, you put it in, and I guess it will distinguish which value type it actually is, right? So it's up to you. So uh, with the pair class, you can you can do more than just use pairs like that, right? I'm not gonna just end the tutorial there. So when you uh, create a pair, um, and let's say an int and an int, uh, we can name this pair test. So in test in whenever we have a peer case, okay, sorry. So whenever we have a uh, a pair or something, uh, we can have a pair of values. So if we want to store two values in some variable type or whatever, then we could easily put test dot first equal to a value. So um, and we could say test dot second equals to another value. So we could use CL and we can call test.first and we can call um, do space and then we call test.second. So let's run this just to see if this works. And we got this right here. So I recently found out about this pair command, and I'm probably gonna be I'm gonna be implementing it in my uh, Allegro Five, uh, Allegro Five platformer made easy tutorial because look at how efficient this can be. So my Allegro Five tutorials, what I have for the position that I say in position two or whatever, and then in here we'd have the player's X position, the player's Y position, so on and so forth. But wouldn't it be easier if I could store them both into under one variable name? So I could just call std pair or make pair. Either one, you can call either one you like. And you could specify for make pair, you could just specify a type where you can make a value, I believe. So let's test this out to see if it works for make pair. Kinda of tested this out. Yeah. So you could either call make pair or pair, right? So I'll just use pair since I did that before. And I can specify two ints, and I could say, uh, I could say position, and the position is equal to 10 at 20. So my position X would be 10, and my position Y would be 20. So if I want to access my position X, I could say position first, and if I want to access my position Y, I can say position dot second. And so on and so forth. And I could probably devise another class to do that for me. So it would be like position.x, position.y. But that way is, is fine as well. But just showing you some different things that you can do with it. 
and if you ever want to use the insert method in the map class then that's how you would do so so I'm gonna end that tutorial here I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate subscribe and bye